Hey guys, it's Jen and welcome back to another review video. Today we're gonna be reviewing the JBL Quantum 100s. But first, of course, we're gonna be unboxing the JBL Quantum 100s. Here's the package from Lazada that contains the JBL Quantum 100s. which is secured with a thick amount of bubble wrap. Unfortunately, due to shipping problems, the box did suffer from a few dents which is quite visible. The box opens at the bottom which has a seal on it. Even though the box was not in a good condition, the insides were safe anyway. The headphones were wrapped with a soft plastic with a cable attached. Also the small plastic which contained the manual as well as the detachable microphone. The headphones weigh at 220 grams and the cable is 120 centimeters long. They did not include the splitter, so you'd need to buy one separately if needed. After using the JBL Quantum 100s for a good amount of time now, um, on its JBL Quantum headphone series, this is the cheapest one you can buy. And on the JBL Quantum series, this the JBL Quantum 100s is the only one that has three different colors which is black, white, and this blue one. To be honest, um, if you compare it to Apple, this is the these are the cheap colorful ones because um, after the JBL 100s which is the 200s and 300, 400, 600, 800, and 1 they only have one color which is the black one which is this this is the JBL 200s that I have this is the only color for the JBL 200s and the other quantum headphone so with that concept just like Apple's the uh, it's not that far off from its from its higher variants this headphones as you may expect these headphones even at its price point is very decent so I bought these headphones at around 1,300 pesos in, in Lazada. I will put the screenshot over here as well as the seller which I bought the JBL Quantum 200s from. They got good deals so I really recommend you checking their place out. The build is as you could expect from its price and from its stand from all the Quantums. The Quantum headphones. Uh, this is the cheapest quality of headphones in the lineup this one is significantly far from the designs of the of the 200s up till the quantum one the earcoms are really really different it has this wrinkly type of uh, foam unlike oh, I'm not comparing them now i'm trying really hard not to make this a comparison that's for another video the foam is nice um, it is comfortable on on your ears It is an over-the-ear headphones. Even though I have uh, really, really big ears, um, it is still an over-the-ear headphone. It has those left and right indicators inside the ear cups. You get confused where the left and right is. So the mic goes on the left ear cup, which is the only slot you can actually put it on. So again, on the build quality, it is very, very light. It is purely made out of plastic. Which is for me, which is good because I wouldn't really want a heavy headphone on my head the whole time I'm gaming or editing. The build is a pass for me. So in the build, there's also soft touch on the upper part of the headphones, which is nice to rest on your head. And it just twists at, 90 degree, at a 90 degree angle. It doesn't go inside like other headphones. It also has a good amount of adjustments on both sides that's nice and on the ear cup besides the mic which is removable there's a non-removable wire R connector which ends with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack 
the quantum 100 does not does not provide a splitter so if you do want to connect it on a pc with both the audio and the output you would need to buy a, sl a splitter which is pretty cheap so i guess that's fine the wire is braided with the same color as the headphones which is nice build quality really cheap but really light durable um, we'll see <laughs> i guess so let's now proceed with the the other important feature which is the detachable microphone of the JBL Quantum 100 let's head to OBS to check it out hello guys this is the mic test of the JBL Quantum 100 without any changes whatsoever so this is the removable mic um, you could flip it up or down and it's still stays on even when it is up. It does have a mute feature on the back of the headphones just below the volume but the volume scroll so we're gonna try to mute the mic. So that was the button and I could see on the meter that I'm not sure if that registers but I feel like the button does give off a sound, a clicking sound. It is a button though so let's just say we're at in a game or going into a game and you have the mic detached from your headphones so let's try out that scenario. Hello. So yeah, as you can see, I had a hard time putting back on without taking my headphones off. I guess it is better to put the mic up instead of detaching it whenever you're not using it. And it doesn't see, it doesn't look the best, but um, if you don't think about it, you won't even feel that it is there, up there. I do want to say that the mic adjustment is pretty flexible um, you could place it anywhere you like so that's good and now going back to the review on the JBL Quantum 100 so for me the mic quality is very very good for its price being it as a detachable mic is a also a big bonus if you don't really need it you just want the headphones and, and use a dedicated mic like me use it as a regular headphone like so and just use a proper mic some streamers do this maybe even gamers if they don't want the quality of the mic the headphones provide that is a good option but you could also have the mic just up instead of removing it as you may have heard on my recording testing out the mic there is kind of a sound just minimal i guess of a sound when pressing the mute or unmute button there is also a volume control wheel on the side of the headphones so you can adjust your volume just by scrolling it up or down on the left side of the headphone so for the sound quality of the JBL Quantum 100s, I'm gonna be honest, it's not that impressive. Some of you might expect since you will be buying a JBL Quantum headphone. But for me, I kind of expected that it won't be as good because of the price and it's kind of a cheap budget design. But I did find a workaround on that if you do have the JBL 100s you can do you can go to your sound settings choose playback and then the JBL Quantum 100s go on to properties and then on the advanced tab you can find the default format would which some of you guys would have it on 16 bit 48000 hertz change that into 24 bit 48000 hertz 
or even higher so for me that is kind of a workaround on improving the sound quality of the JBL Quantum 100s um, in the music department if you are if you like bass heavy headphones this would not satisfy that for you it has decent bass for me it's just it just sounds like a regular headphone would it's nothing special I guess that's a good way to put it but I can't say that I'm disappointed on the sound if you are looking for a really really good quality sounding headphones you may want to check out the higher versions of the quantum series but if you're on a budget and you really like the colors that comes with the quantum 100s i would actually recommend you get these headphones it is not perfect it is decent and as you may know jbl has a quantum engine software for its jbl quantum series unfortunately the jbl quantum 100 is not covered on using the software as well i have also tested it out on games like valorant since valorant does kind of optimize their game for maybe any kind of headphones it is very decent you can hear footsteps from all around all i could say it does the job on that part for my valorant experience this is for people who has a tight budget wants a JBL quantum headphone if you are building a white build or if you really like blue this is the headphone for you if you're from the Philippines and you're planning to buy these headphones check out the store that I have uh, tagged here or I will put in the description because they they really have the best prices on these headphones some of which are very very expensive I bought this at 1300 pesos some shops would sell you these headphones for around 2100 which is really really bad and overpriced I'm not sure but I think this is this was released two years ago so you would expect that the prices would drop some shops would still retain its price on release so go check out the store that i have linked down below for its cheap build it does have decent amount of features that would sell to a consumer like the, the, that detachable microphone and a good variety of colors that would complement your build and your liking i recommend these headphones for those on a tight budget and does prefer the colors that are available i do not recommend this to people who are bass heavy wants a good amount of control on the headphones since these headphones does not support the jbl quantum engine which is their software i know it's kind of dumb jbl why not add these headphones on your quantum engine just give it a simple equalizer i guess so yeah for these headphones i'm giving it a 7.5 out of 10 it's really decent it is comfortable i have no issues on it if i were to keep this i would have to remove the mic instead because i do use this mic more often so mic is really good if you don't have a dedicated mic jbl i now have two two of the starting headphones on the jbl quantum series i'm broke now maybe you can send me the other ones and let me do a review on them and compare them and help other people choose what's best for them that's kind of cringe anyway um also i'd like to shout out glossy this is vitamin c with collagen which does help with my skin even though i'm oily as fuck go check them out um thank you glossy for sending this to me this has been the jbl quantum 100s really good but one of the best budget headphones out there and yeah thank you guys for watching comment down below on any questions you have about these headphones like subscribe and thank you guys for watching Ciao!